What's going on everybody? Perry here from LiveX bringing you another unboxing of another KiloView device. Today we have the DC220. We're going to dive right in, we're going to get on started, and we're going to do it. Okay, so full disclosure, we have used this here at LiveX. So sort of an unboxing, sort of uh, packing it up and then unboxing it again. But uh, so let's do it. So, styrofoam, my favorite. Well, it's not, it's like the, the good foam. And then right in here, our already uh, pulled tape, we have our decoder. And I'll put it on this. So, anti-static bag, always your friend, don't throw these out. Let's, let's make sure that uh, you can all see everything here. Then inside here, you have your your usual cards, your warranties, your QR codes, your quick start guide, and your contact card. And then you have your power, which goes right into the power port, just like that. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get some of this stuff out of the way so we can actually examine the product here. Uh, get all of the quick start guides. Quick start guides, again, don't throw them out. They're handy. I know a lot of people don't read them anymore, but do yourself the favor, read the manual. Let's get this box out of here. Okay, the DC220 video decoder, really nice device, and it's, it's got good weight to it, nice, uh, I don't want to say it's aluminum, but it probably is, to be honest, um, but it's nice metal, regardless, but if we take a look at this close-up camera here, if I get right into the right focal length here, which I think I, I think I'm in a good spot, see these? This is on a couple of their devices. These are air vents, isn't that neat? So there's air circulation from one side, zoop, right to the other. Let's get that light shine right on it, perfect. Look at that. Isn't that smart? A device so small, made out of metal, you're gonna need air, so why not just put vents? Isn't that cool? All right, let's take a look at a little bit more of this, shall we? Um, we have, a USB port, STI out. I know it's a little hard to see because it is a hair tiny. Uh, a reset button, a two audio ports here. I believe this is a line out and a line in. A couple status LED light indicators and then your power. On the other side, zoop, you have your uh, ethernet port. Your It says GigaNet because why not? Um, and you have your DVI, VGA, HDMI uh, out as well, which uh, I believe we still have the dongle um, over in our setup, but it uh, should come with a dongle in your box to be able to um, essentially make this, it's an adapter that goes from DVI to HDMI. So very, very handy. So a couple things to note about the decoder. It's a IP based, uh, just like any other decoder, bring it on in via the internet, spit it on out via video. Um, and so you can go out SDI, or as I said before, you can go out DVI, VGA, HDMI. Something neat about the DC220, SRT will be supported. Will be being the operative term. It is coming soon, it is not there yet, but they are almost there. Um, when that happens, these most likely are gonna be all over the office. So that'll be really, really cool. Um, very similar to that of the, of the DC230, but just the SRT is, is, the, is the major difference. Um, still both really cool devices, but mainly, mainly this, uh, that's the one upper hand that the, D, the DC220 has. So can't wait to actually, you know, put this to work, you know, stress test it out, see how it does. Um, and if you use Kilo devices in, in your setup, don't forget to leave a comment down below telling us how you use your Kilo View decoders, encoders, all, all that fun stuff. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want more social media content from us here at LiveX, go follow us, like us, subscribe to us on all of the other platforms, LiveX production. Um, but here on YouTube, you know to click the subscribe button. And you've already clicked the bell. 
because this is a new video and you were alerted. You were told there was a new video. So let's make sure that you do that. That's going to do it for this one. Watch for that background. We'll see you next time.